Hi, today we're looking into some of the basic form customization that you can actually do yourself in AutoCount. So for today's example, we'll be actually using sales invoice for our customization. So let's say we come to a sales invoice. We have a user defined field here that we would like to actually include in our invoice. So on the standard templates, let's say we key in our customer. So customer, we key in say, let's say we go deliver to lobby one. Right. and of course you just key in as per normal how to key in your products and that you are selling to them say oil at $11 and then we create one more say email sachet at $1 so now let's say we press save and preview yes okay let's take the first template okay so right now based on the template you will not be able to see that particular field in your template all right so we will see how we can actually create those inside here all right to do that we just need to come here to tools we have one called reboot design center let's click here so let's say for example hey, sorry so let's say example now we are going to sales and then we want to go to invoice and we come to the invoice document all right so just now we use the full text invoice so we'll be customizing on this so press design okay so let's say we want to have the information just below page here all right so the first thing is we will need to create a text box that's always standard on all your invoices to do this we just need to come here to a click here click and drag here down here and then we can just double click and we put here remark okay so of course now the fonts are not really correct so we actually can see this is Tahoma 10 so let's change this to Tahoma 10 as well Tahoma 10 okay then of course we will need to arrange it and sort it properly okay here and of course let's say example if you want to create the dot as well we can actually do this we can do a copy click anywhere around here and then we press a paste and we click and drag to make sure it's correct All right so now we have done that now we want to include the field that is actually pulling information from your uh, entry screen all right so to do this you can come here the invoice here you see that's one called invoice master click the plus sign here sorry invoice master click the plus sign then you see there's one called a UDF delivery remark so all you just need to do is click again click and drag it down to here make sure it's in line and then of course we have to make sure that the fonts are correct again Tahoma 10 all right so of course now if you look at it it's actually quite short you can actually click and actually make it a bit longer all right so once you're done let's say this already where we want it to be of course the red mark here shows that it's actually overlapping but for today's example we just leave it as is all right and now we want to save the document so you have to know what happens is when we want to save it we can override whatever formats that's already generated from the system so we have to save it as a different name so press save as so this is called sample text invoice re delivery okay so once you're done we press save now we close this format close this format and we go back to the invoice so let's say we go back to the invoice that we have just created mm, here all right delivery lobby one all right all right delivery lobby one so we can actually preview here you can see there's a now a format called sample text invoice with delivery remark all right and here you can see this user it means it's a user design format okay we press ok and now you can see there's one called delivery to lobby one that's all for today's video do like and subscribe to get notified when we release a new guide thank you